Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Odinasi and welcome to the Build Series 3, episode number three, where we're working on a 2015 Yamaha R3, trying to make it one of the best R3s out there. If you knew the series or you missed an episode, you can find a playlist link down in the description for the entire series, so that way you can find all of the videos that I put out before this and the ones that I'll put after this. In this series, I'm taking you guys along on the process of taking this R3 behind me, and you may not even be able to see in the view of the camera, and showing you guys some awesome parts that we can put on this bike, working with some awesome companies, and trying to make a super unique build out of this bike. But this one's a little bit more unique than the past build series that I've done. This is a Patreon funded build series, which means that by supporting on Patreon, you guys can help us decide every single thing that we do to this bike. You can participate in live streams, get a lot of different rewards over there like merch discounts and ad free videos for the episodes that I put out. And at the end of the series, I'm going to be selling a bike to one of the build series fans for just $1. So make sure you go check out the Patreon link at the top of the description, see everything that we got going on over there and get yourself in participating in deciding what we do with this bike. Now, last week I left you guys off with uh, almost having the entire bike disassembled. There's just a few more things we have to do and the reason that we are doing all of that is so that we can powder coat the frame and the wheels. So we had to get everything off the frame, everything out of it, including the engine which we dropped out. This week we're gonna finish that off and get things prepped for powder coating. Now as you can see here, here is uh, where we left off last week with almost everything completed in the disassembly of the R3. We got the motor over here, we got all the fairings off of the bike, we got the exhaust off, we got the swing arm removed from the rear of the bike. The only real thing that we have left to do here is uh, removing the clip-ons and separating the forks and the front wheel assembly from the steering stem. Pretty important if we wanna get the frame powder coated. So I gotta figure out how to get that completely removed. I think I should just have to get the uh, triple tree assemblies uh, loosened up so I can drop the forks out and then hopefully that'll allow me to separate this stuff from the steering stem. After I finished last week's episode, and actually during the episode, I mentioned how awesome the bike looked after we took the uh, front cowling off, the uh, front headlight assembly. So that's right here. We took it off in full, uh, aside from the dash, which I think is over there on the counter somewhere. But we took that off and I, uh, looked at this and I thought that looked pretty awesome in Street Fighter form. So after I finished the episode, start editing it, uh, I started searching for Street Fighter kits and I found one for the R3. You're gonna go get the mail? Are you expecting a package? She's expecting all the packages. She's like, well I'm secretly Santa Claus and I have to um, <laughs> make all my presents. <laughs> this is her third outfit of the day because um, she's made the other ones dirty. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsies. Uh, we also have to get all of the bearings pressed out. You'd think by now I'd probably buy some sort of press to get the bearings out myself, but I haven't. But yeah, we gotta get the bearings out of the wheels, we gotta get the bearings out of the uh, swing arm, and the frame. Once we do that, we can finally get the stuff off to power coating. But let's get started. First thing on the list is to get all of this separated so we can have the uh, frame separated. I said separated twice in one sentence. Finally, fully disassembled. Here is the uh, the frame. I finished up a few uh, little things that needed to be taken off. Uh, a couple brackets here and there, some bolts that I had left in um, certain spots so I knew where they went. Then tomorrow morning I will uh, take the wheels and the frame to get the uh, front steering stem bearings pressed out. So this whole uh, 
triple tree right here, and uh, there's some bearings on the sides. I am gonna leave it there. Video's not done though. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So there's a few things that I wanted to take care of before we get the stuff off to a shop. The shop that I usually go to uh, showed up on Google as permanently closed. So I'm gonna try a different shop this morning. Uh, I already called them. They said they're available now. I just gotta get this stuff taken care of real quick. Uh, we gotta remove the front wheel, which shouldn't be difficult. And then I also have to uh, get the sprocket uh, removed from here. That'll probably make it a little bit easier to do all this action. She's uh, started sitting and she's doing really well. She's really good at it. Are you really good at it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday we took care of pressing out all of the bearings from the frame, from the swing arm, and uh, from both of the wheels. And we were gonna start working on the powder coating yesterday, but we didn't, we decided uh, today would work better. So let me just show you guys what we've got here. So everything is taken off of everything, ex aside from, I think there's like two grommets that I still failed to take. Yeah, one here and uh, one somewhere else. But uh, bearings all pressed out of the steering stem on the frame. Uh, there is a couple right here on the engine mounts for the frame as well. Then on both the wheels, got them pressed out of there. And then the, uh, front of the swing arm as well. So that is all ready to go. Uh, but what we need to do is get them prepped for powder coating. And this is something that I didn't used to know. There's a lot that goes into powder coating stuff. You don't just uh, spray some powder on it, stick it in an oven and uh, it's good to go. You may not have even known that. Powder coating involves sticking things in an oven. If you uh, ever had like an art class when you were a little kid and uh, you painted like pottery or whatever and then they stick it in a kiln and they bake it and then it's all like glazed, it's pretty much exactly what powder coating is. So I am off to Enigma Coatings. You guys know Enigma. They done all, they done all the powder coating on all of my stuff. Chris over there at Enigma did it all. So if you're in the Austin area and you need powder coating done, Chris is your guy. So I'm headed up there and I'm not just dropping everything off he is going to uh, put me to work and basically teach me the process of powder coating and I'm gonna do as much of the work as possible. It should be pretty interesting. So if uh, the stuff gets messed up, <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> This is the blast ring. This is the blast ring. Only used for blasting stuff. Correct. Okay. Pretty much we're gonna have to sweep all this sand up to this ramp over here. So do you reuse all this all the sand? Do you, you does it go it back out. into a machine? Or do you just order a bunch of sand over and over again? Yeah, you can use it about three or four times and it'll okay. just break down and turn to dust. So when you sweep it up there, it'll add it to a hopper in the back, and then that hopper feeds this hose. Bit of That's pretty intense. So uh, Chris did the stripping of all of the uh, parts there. So that's what you guys saw, uh, the before and after of having all that, um, just the factory powder coating paint uh, stripped off of that. Uh, now we have to blast it all. And what's the, what's the difference between what you accomplish with the stripping and what you accomplish with the blasting? So we can blast the powder off, but the aluminum wheels, it's a little too aggressive. Okay. So it'll end up tearing up the aluminum. Okay. So, I mean, really, the other parts we didn't have to strip. We could have just blasted them. It would take longer to blast them, but we could blast it. Okay. Um, the aluminum wheels, we do want to get all the old coatings off before we blast it, just so we don't damage the material. So, after after the stripping, we're going to put it in the oven, and we're going to outgas it at about 400, 450, to bring all the grease and debris to the surface, so we can blast it off. Okay. We'll have a clean um, surface to work with. Um, the blasting is going to etch the, the metal, it'll give it something to adhere to. So, I am doing the blasting. I did not do the stripping, but hopefully I'll be doing everything else in the process. That's the plan. <laughs> Alright, so 
Now we gotta put these in the uh, oven to get all the grease and the oils out of the casting. It's mostly these we're worried about. Okay. And a little bit on this too because we have that bearing in here. Right, yeah. You ever bake pizzas in there? No, I thought about it. Thought about it? <laughs> Do you watch Stranger Things? I don't. You don't? Oh. Uh, this is probably related. Uh, this, yeah. <laughs> this reminds me. <laughs> hey. Do. Uh, you pull this trigger to make it go. There's air coming out of there. And when that seal closes that, okay. it's gonna keep sand and air out of there. Okay. And when you let go, it'll take a you know a couple seconds for it to die down. Usually put it over my shoulder, do a little finger. Okay. Or just something like that. Water holding the wheel. This is exactly like the show now. <laughs> they have like a suit like that, like a hazmat type looking suit. And then they have like a flamethrower with a flashlight. All right, you guys see uh, everyone building fancy vans to uh, transport their motorcycles around? This is what I want to build. <laughs> uh, I don't even think it would fit the ruckus. Is this open? This is... <laughs> would this not be the most amazing vehicle? Show up, to, show up to meetups with this with my bike in the back? It's got no floor and it's a Jeep. We got uh, this thing right here. Get one of these. Freaking looks like an old milk truck. Also, old school fire truck. Waco Fire Department. Dude, make this into a merch truck. That, that'd be sick. I probably shouldn't put them up right. Oh crap. Oh, you're good. How much exaggeration is in that? I think um, the hardest part was just trying to figure out, trying to get at the angle that I needed to to hit a spot, especially on this, because everything's like hidden. That's just so crazy. Hired. I'm hired? Yes. We have to do everything um, next. We're gonna pull all the plugs out. We're gonna blow off all the excess sand on that table. Okay. And then we'll take them over to that stainless top and uh, we'll do the mask over there. Okay. Your freaking drift trike is splitting fans. Those little um, little bags of like gunpowder that you throw. Little, oh. I don't know, what are those things little, called? Uh, it sounds like it's just shooting those out the back of it. You need to build an electric one. Yeah, you should take this out. Get you out. should take it out right now. Right now. <laughs> so we finished taping uh, what we need to tape. Uh, we're still gonna do like plugs on the screw uh, where like screws and stuff like that are. Uh, but it's late and we can't coat it anyways now because the powder uh, did not come in in time. So we're gonna have to do that for next week. Uh, but for the most part, we got this stuff ready, so this is taped off on both sides. Look at this freaking job that I did. Freaking gorgeous. I'm really happy with how this came out. I, don't know, I mean, he said it looks good, so. Well, that's gonna be it, guys. We're gonna be finishing up all the rest of the powder coating next week. The powder should get into the shop on Monday, so if you guys wanna see like previews of stuff like that, uh, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, at Modernosity over there. Huge, huge, huge thanks to Chris over at Enigma Coatings. If you're in the Austin area, he's your guy for powder coating. Can't thank him enough for staying late at the shop tonight to uh, one, just 
be there. And uh, <laughs> two, teach me how to do that stuff. I'm really hoping all the uh, video came out really well for you guys. Uh, so let me know what you think. Um, if you really enjoyed getting to see me do that kind of stuff, uh, maybe I'll do it here and there with future projects. But yeah, just a reminder, if you wanna get involved with the build and choose what we do, all of these things that you're th seeing, so like the colors that we're doing for powder coating, uh, the colors that we're gonna do for the bike, what we're doing for the kit on the bike, that Street Fighter kit, all that stuff are things that the supporters over on Patreon have been choosing. So if you wanna be a part on that, go hit that link at the top of the description, patreon.com slash motonocity. But yeah, that's gonna be it guys, it's super late. I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys. Just a reminder, all the videos are linked in the playlist link down in the description for every single episode that we do in this build series, the ones that have come out and the ones that will come out after this. Hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all the videos that I put out in the future. Make sure you turn on that little notification bell and I will see you guys uh, well, on Tuesday for another video, but also next Sunday for the next episode of the Build Series 3. You guys are awesome. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived. And I will see you guys in the next video. By the way, one week till the Moto Meet, Texas Moto Meet 2017. Event details in the description. See you guys there.